Homeroom Guidance Quarter 4, Week 3, 4, and 5 Our lesson is to get involved and feel alright. Objective Identify ways and how to respond to the needs of the community. Develop a sense of self-empowerment and ability to take part in discovering possible solutions to community issues and share personal contribution that may result to solving community and global issues. As you go older, you start to be more aware of things around you. You become more independent and responsible as you explore the world you live in. The kind of environment you have has an impact to the learning and development as a person. As a young member of your community, you are encouraged to be involved in discovering solutions to the present problems. Remember, no matter how big or small your contribution is, this will give a positive impact to the betterment of your community. In Module 12, you learn the importance of understanding yourself and your relationships with others. This helps you develop a sense of responsibility as a member of your family of your school and of your community through the given activities you also learned that as a young learner you can do something to help others even in your own little way now learners let's try this the community i live in your neighborhood where you live in has an impact on your life as you grow. Walking around your place is a great way to take a closer look at your community. With the help of your parents or guardian, create your own picture of community you live in. Make a map. Do this on a piece of paper or maybe in your homeroom guidance notebook then you have to draw a four sides around your house name the street green spaces houses shops and other places you think are important be creative in illustrating your work and make it colorful an example is given below or the next slide to guide you and then you have to answer the processing question. This one is the example you're going to make. Five. This is the processing question. Number one, what did you feel while doing the activity? Number two, what can you say about the community you live in? And number three, how do you connect with the people in your community? When you're done, again, take a picture of your answer and turn it in Google Classroom. Now learners, let us all explore this footprint. Think of the places around your community that you've been to or passed through when you're walking around your neighborhood. Remember the people you met and the moment you had with them. Then, do the next activity by following the instructions on the next slide. This one is a processing question. What do you like the most about your community? What is the most common problem that you observe in your community? And as grade 4 learner, 
How can you help to make your community a better place to live in? Keep in mind, getting involved in your community. Aside from your family and school, your community plays an important role in your development as individual. Recognizing your ability to contribute and talking or taking an active role in helping your community will empower you to become a responsible young citizen. Sharing your contribution to the community, no matter how big or small, it is will help you develop these forces. First is the competence. By actively participating in the community activities, you discover new interests and talents. Confidence. When you carry out responsibilities, you become more confident about yourself because you're able to show what you can do. Connection. You create connections with other people. Most importantly, you learn the importance of giving and receiving, sharing during times of plenty, and asking for help during difficult times are normal, healthy things for people to do. And the character. When you contribute, it develops good character within you such a responsibility, kindness, and caring. You can contribute in your community in many ways. This may include the following. Donating good clothes and old books or toys to choose in need. Collecting things that you can reuse or recycle. Volunteering in activities about taking care of the environment. Helping in cleaning up the neighborhood. Helping in cleaning up the neighborhood, and doing acts of kindness and courtesy to others such as helping your neighborhood in cleaning their front yards or carrying the grocery bags of your friends or grandmother. Remember, even a small contribution may go a long way. You are an important member of the community. And you can help in your own simple ways. Learners, get involved. So let's do this or you can do it. I am involved. Go back to your answers from the previous activity. From the listed problems that you observe in your community, choose one which can take part to discover solutions. Make a campaign poster showing a picture that tells about the activity that you want to promote. Write a good title and a brief description about your campaign. Use a clean piece of paper. You may also use a coloring material. Like this one. Processing questions. What does your campaign poster promote? Explain. How can you encourage others to join in your campaign? In what way does taking part in community activity help you? What I have learned. Four Corners. This time, you will be asked to share what you have learned from the previous activities and discussion about getting involved in the community. Read and follow the instruction given in each corner of the table. Copy and answer the activity in your homeroom guidance notebook.
share your thoughts and feelings. Random act of, of kindness. Share at least five simple acts of kindness and courtesy that you did to others and how did you feel after doing it. An example is given to guide you in answering. Tap and answer the activity on your homeroom guidance notebook. Do you have any question, learners? Okay, if not, this is the end of our lesson. Bye-bye!